Okay, guys, so for the last two days, we've had the doll maker haunting this house and roaming around this house, and we've seen her in the same room with Aurora, so we know it's not Aurora. Um, but we can't figure out where she is because she'll be upstairs one minute and downstairs the next minute, and we have no idea where she is. So we need to try and figure out where she is and what kind of ghost she is so we can stop her. So, Dad, do you want to talk about some of the stuff that we have? Okay, guys. So, what we have here for our ghost hunting survival kit is we have everything here except for two things. The, the crosses are still in Daniel's room, so his room is very protected. And we have special flashlights that the kids can wear on their heads that will help them find fingerprints. But I, those are in the other room, so I have to get those. We do have salt. We have flashlights for fingerprints and to help us in the dark if the lights start flickering or even go out. We have an EMF reader. Are you paying attention? Yes. Okay. We have an EMF. You need to know these things. You know, this is very important here. Um, we have an EMF reader, which will tell us, I think that stands for like, um, I, I don't know what EMF stands for. Probably like every man electromagnetic. falls when they see ghosts. Electric electromagnetic field. Electromagnetic field. Also, every man falls when they see ghosts. <laughs> um, we have a temperature reader, so we know if we have a fever, if we've been running too hard from the ghosts, or if the room gets cold. That's it. Um, and we also have the voice box. Um, we didn't want to rip our own voice boxes out, so we figured we would get a voice box um, so the ghosts could speak to us. Um, if, if they didn't want to talk right to us, they could speak through the box. So that's my understanding of the kit here. Now, I am not a professional ghost hunter. I feel like we need a disclaimer, like, above my head. Not a professional ghost hunter. Um, but I can run really good. So if, like, a ghost comes, I, don't worry. I can leave you guys in the dust. Every man for um, themselves. Every man for themselves. EMF. Every man. It's an EMFS. <laughs> no, EMFT. I'm sorry. Just for the record, you're supposed to protect your family from the ghosts, not leave your family with the ghosts. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm... You'll protect me, right? Yeah. Okay. He's going to protect I me. I think Daniel has a ghost in his shirt. He what keeps... about me? Oh. I said I'm done. You, you are me. the ghost. No, I'm not. Straw wrapper. All right, you guys. So... We need to figure out where this ghost is because she keeps roaming everywhere throughout the house. Once we find her, we can hopefully trap her. The problem is she moves really, really fast. Yeah, like, 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 that one went like this, and, and then it just went like, boom. Yeah, well, remember, you were running in the last video. You were running from the stairs, and you went to the door, and she had been on the stairs, and then all of a sudden you went to the door, and she was outside. Like, yeah, she know. like she blinked like that. I don't know how she got there. So, we don't know. My eyeball's itching. We don't know where she is and how to, we're going to, I don't even know if we're going to be able to trap her. This is true. There is a test, though. You told me that there's a certain kind of ghost that can go through walls, and since the ghost was the doll maker, which was Aurora... I want to see Aurora run into a wall and see if she goes through it. You want to see if Aurora's the ghost, see if oh, she runs through the no, wall? Yeah. Thank you. I right. know. Aurora, go run into the wall. Uh -huh. I don't want to go after her. That's a door. You gotta find a wall to run into, Goofus. Notice how I waited till after she did it before I, I like did it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll oh. do it. You think you're a ghost too? Yeah, yeah you probably think I am. Oh gosh. Let's see, if he goes through this wall, I'm gonna freak out. I think we're good, so we're safe. Daniel's not a ghost. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. not a ghost. Well, at least not that particular kind of ghost. Mm. Or at least this particular yes, kind of. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Wait, are we testing? Are we testing everybody? I guess so. Yes. Yeah, I need a good man. I thought this test was just for Aurora, but Daniel volunteered. All right, I think I'm a ghost. I think I can! I think I can! Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't think Dad's a ghost. Dad, do it again! Dad? Do it again! <laughs> oh! I don't know if you have a ghost or not. Wait. And as she runs up, she smacks and falls. Now you can! Were you a ghost, Mom? Are you there? Are you there? No reading. No reading? Alright. Just keep walking. Do you want me to leave or you leave? I'll leave. Guys, I'll 
anyone there? Wait, this is on my toes. Oh, I got a reader right here. Oh my god, I'm getting a reading. <gasps> Questions? You watch her asking a question? Wait. Oh, it's green right there. Daniel, do you want her asking a question or should I? I don't know. Okay. Let's see if they'll respond. How old are you? Kill. I don't want to kill. Boom! Daniel, no, come on! Get out of here! 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 Come on! All right, guys, so. We're upstairs. We're upstairs. Dad and Daniel, do you want to take a couple of rooms and me and Aurora will take a couple of rooms? Yes, yeah, sure. Together, we want to yeah, split Because there are two girls, two boys. Okay. I'm seeing one. Okay, so what rooms do you guys want to take? I'll take. My room. Mom and Dad's room, and I'll take my room. All right, so me and Daniel are gonna take the two rooms at the end of the hall. You guys take the room at the beginning, because that's the bigger We'll take room. Aurora's and we'll take the bathroom as well. Yeah. Okay, and take the closet, because that's a big closet. Okay. Okay. All right. Ah! Okay. So, all right, go ahead, guys. All right. Be safe. We got lights good, Daniel. It's gonna be a big helper. Let me know if you see any fingerprints. <laughs> Let me know if you see any fingerprints. All right, Rory, you ready? Yeah. All right, why don't you go ahead. Let's go check your room first. Uh -oh. Aurora, did you turn this light on? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you look at the at the light and see if we've got fingerprints? Red mode activated. <gasps> we've got fingerprints. Oh my God. Dad, Dad, Dino, Dad, 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 guess what, Dad. Did you guys find anything? Well, Daniel's looking for evidence. He's he's in the bed, but he's got that. He didn't hear anything, but I've got weapons. Okay, we went into Aurora's room and her light was already on. And I asked her if she turned it on. She said no. So we looked at her her light switch with her red camera thing. There were fingerprints on the light switch. No. Yes. What does that mean? So right now we have fingerprints and spirit box. What does that mean? And EMF. And EMF. We got EMF, but we didn't get EMF 5. Every ghost will give off EMF, but it gives off EMF 5, then that's different. We did not get EMF 5. So, that means that it's a very good possibility that's a wraith. Woohoo. Okay. I told you. Yeah. So, uh, the greatest way that we can tell, besides getting that third piece of evidence, is using the salt. So we need to put salt piles somewhere, see if we can get the ghost to walk through it, and then see if she leaves footprints. If she doesn't, that means that, uh, if she doesn't leave footprints, that means that she's a wraith. Okay. Um, what you doing? Well, either we're prepared to murder the wraith and not get caught because we have the evidence cleanup kit, or I won't have to clean up a salty mess. Um, okay. Oh, you're safe. Thank you. All right. Get it on this camera. Okay. Hold on. It's gonna be sad stacked. Turn your flashlight on it. It'll help me actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We need lots of salt to see. It looks like sugar. It does. Pretty. No. No. All right. I hope All right. that's enough for a footprint because we're almost out, but I need a little bit for added protection. Okay. In case I have to go. All right. Now let's let's all back away and, and get out of here and see if she'll walk through it. Oh, that's true. Is there something we can do to lure it in here? Um, we're sleeping together. 
Maybe. Maybe they'll come in while we're sleeping. All right. Well, you guys get in the bed and pretend to go to sleep. Aurora and I will go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, okay. Okay, we can do... Th Wait, why are you guys going to go downstairs? Well, maybe we'll go in Aurora's room this way if she comes. Um, we were trying to leave it alone, so it'll it'll come in here if we think we're not in here. All right. Let's go to bed, Daniel. Okay. My first time with you. Yeah, We're gonna drink that ghost. All right, Aurora and I are gonna go in the other room. Just careful you don't step in the salt, okay? I'm gonna make sure you don't, okay? And we're gonna make sure that mommy doesn't. There's no stepping in the salt, okay? And we're gonna go in here and shut the door until we find out. What's going on? Roar, do you hear that? I hear the EMF reader. We should, go, we should go check on the guys. Come on. Oh my gosh. Guys, 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 I hear the EMF reader. <gasps> guys, did you really fall asleep? I think we accidentally fell asleep. We heard the EMF reader. Look, there's a footprint. What? You Wait. can barely see it. Okay, just don't touch anything. Just look around the area. I don't see anything. I'm not seeing anything either. I think, I think she's a wraith. Where should we set up the trap to get her? Because she's everywhere. I guess what we could do is we could set up a trap in, where were the two spots that we got the most? Actually, we got the living room and up here. Yeah, I don't know if the EMF reader went out here because we fell asleep. And we watched it. It footage. did because I heard it in Aurora's room. You heard it? I heard it from Aurora's room. All right, guys, so we figured out what kind of ghost the doll maker is. She is, in fact, a wraith. So that means that she goes through walls and she can fly, which means she can be in any room, anytime, anywhere. You can fly? Hold on, I want to go test it out. And there was a print, but not a print in the salt. There was a fingerprint on Aurora's light switch in her room. We had um, the freezing temps in the bedroom, and we had the spirit box in the living room. Do you think that's why they're so salty and grumpy? Is because they, they can't touch salt? Maybe. Maybe. But, so what we're going to do next time is we're going to try and figure out if we can capture her. Maybe we'll try to start in the in whatever room she's giving the most evidence at the time, and then if we can't catch her there, we'll, we'll move on to another room and see if we can catch her. I know in our last video there was some action in here. Definitely there were some things that scared me, but she was everywhere in that video. In this video, we had a lot of action in the living room. There was a lot of action going on in our bedroom, too. Yeah. So we're, we'll just have to see what we can do. So, just, so make sure that... You smash that subscribe button and the like button so you don't miss the next video where we try to um, catch the doll maker ghost. Alright, thank you guys so much for helping us out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.